Well, what's up everybody? Welcome to our next adventure. Hopefully you can hear me because it is windy. This is only mine and Tiffany's second time ever attempting to uh, hand line in blue crab. We've got them a few other ways in our life before, but we've only ever tried it one time down here last time. Last time was just experimental, figuring it all out. We think we've got a little bit better idea what we're doing this time. So let me show you how we're gonna rig. Let's go ahead and get some lines in the water. All right, it's pretty simple and straightforward here. All we did is bought some of this old cheap twine. And I'm gonna pull off about 15 to 20 feet of it. Let's see how long that is. Just a few more feet probably. All right, so all I'm doing is just taking this twine, tying it to end some old PVC poles and a little bamboo pole that I had laying around. Make sure that ain't gonna go nowhere. Then we'll take the other end, tie it to a piece of chicken, chunk it in the water, and it's about that simple. When your line starts pulling off, sometimes you can see the crab. You just slowly pull them in, and then we'll dip them with these dip nets that I have up here. All right, now we just used chicken drumsticks because they were cheap and available. But I hear a lot of people talk about either using fish or chicken necks is another good thing that I hear to use. But last time we were here, we picked up a few crab with these old cheap drumsticks, so we're gonna try that again. So it's pretty much about this simple. So we'll come over here to this spot. You can go up and down the bank and jig this whole pole in the ground or heck i'll just leave it laid up right here just throw the chicken out let it sink to the bottom i already see fish attacking it well this has done got tight as you can see but i feel there's so many fish on there attacking it it might be them that's drug it out but it's trying to walk off, but that could be the fish. So we'll just slowly pull it in and see if there's a crab on there. This is crazy. I've never seen these fish like this. They're like piranhas. I don't really feel nothing pulling back because I doubt there's a crab on there. I think it's just fish. Nope, there is a crab. Get that net. That didn't take long at all. Now here's what you can do. I don't know if y'all can see, he's a good sized crab too. They can see this net, so you just pull them up close. There's two crabs on there. All right, I got the, got the little bit bigger one. That's pretty small. He's coming back for it. There's a second crab down there, but he ain't got a whole lot of size to him. Now they will clamp and hold on to the net sometimes, but here's the way that you keep them. Hopefully y'all can see that. Put them on ice, don't let them get down in the water or they will die. But if you put them on ice, they'll get all lethargic on you. Already got another one. Well, just give them a minute. Once they start munching, they'll stay. Oh, that's a little guy, fling him back. That one ain't that much bigger, is it? That's the one that was chasing him. Well, we're just scooping them without a... It's pretty small. Pretty small. They look bigger in the water. They do look bigger <laughs> in the water. That's for danger. Oh, come on, little guy. All right, well, there's plenty of crabs here, that's for sure. I can't even get the other rod tied up. So we're gonna put these guys back since they're just a bit too small. Hang on. Woo, good job. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> now that's more of the size we want to eat right there. Hey, maybe we can just walk up down the bank and scoop. Oh, there's another one right there. We can just walk up down the bank and scoop. It looks like the heck with chicken. That's more the size we want to eat right there. He's got a decent claw on him. Hanging out. 
Yeah, they do that. Let's see here. Heck, at this point, let's eat. We threw the crabs back last time. I want to eat this time. Hang on, you need your net. Yeah, I didn't want to lose my pole. All right. I feel something on there. I think it's fish, though. All right, I see a decent crab on there. Check this out. If y'all can see that. Look at there. Aha. We're eating in that, people. See him. Look at here, swimming right up to her. Don't, whoa, don't fling him on me. Yeah, they just swim up to us. They just want to get eight people. Look at there. We don't need no chicken. <laughs> Ain't no big one, but we're hungry. I don't know. He's decent. All right. Well, I'm happy to see that. Woohoo! Yeah, that's, that's that old big boy I got. Those are worth eating. Uh, people, pretty basic rule. If you bring it, take it back with you. Uh, I just don't understand why people want to trash places up. Look. So aggravating. Maybe, maybe. Walking up here pretty dang fast. It is walking up here fast. Here, I'll get it. Or you can, it don't matter. Good. I'm better at it. Alright. Oh, yeah. That one's worth eating. I think we're gonna do a crab boil tonight instead of steaming them. We're getting enough now. Plus we got some fresh sausage, corn. Oh yeah. Oh, my yeah, he was on it. Uh, how's the claws look? Worth eating? Let's see. Yeah, we'll throw him in there. Let's see. All right, see how she's easing it up there? Looks pretty decent. Go ahead and scoop him. Ooh, yes, that's a good one. Oh man, look going down the bank. There's another big one. Yeah, keep, they keep, crawling keep throwing way. the chicken to that side. They keep crawling this way. All right, she got her another one. And we've done seen another one that's just about the same size. Go after it. Yep. Sure. My net's on the other side. I was just coming to film you. Gotta be a crab way it keeps walking to the left. Oh yeah. It's a decent one too. Look at there. Oh, yeah. yeah. We eat. Probably boiling them. We'll go ahead and put some venison sausage in there, some sweet corn. I got potatoes. All right, potatoes. We just got to drive back to town for the seasoning. I'll okay. run down to, uh, that new all right. Well, all right, guys. This turned out to be a dang good day. I think the the ticket today is we come down. This is a Tuesday. Last time we come on the weekend, and there was people everywhere. Oh yeah. 
This is looking good. Ain't no way I'm better get to him without him seeing me. Just gotta go for it. That about didn't work out. All right. Pretty good one. He's climbing out. We'll throw those little, look at this one over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just pulling, <laughs> he's pulling the string away. He's fishing. It, yeah, he's fishing for us. Look at this little guy down here. Look at him, pulling the string, trying to pull the stick over. Look at that. I don't know what the heck he thinks he's doing. He's climbing up the rope. <laughs> He's gonna pull that in, look. That thing is strong. Why he wants the string so bad, I don't know. Looks like we might have one on this. Oop. I have two on this. I don't think either of them's big though. Yep, two of them, but ain't no size to them. Well, that didn't turn out being too bad. We're burning up hot. We're gonna head on back and I'm gonna show y'all how I think we clean these. Again, we don't do a whole lot of crabs on our second trip ever doing the hand line stuff. Uh, dip netting today turned out very well. So uh, yeah, first spot was great. Second spot had a lot of crabs, but they're pretty small. So we're starting to get this slowly figured out. The chicken worked well, just using old drumsticks. Um, but again, walking up down the bank worked great. So uh, sorry that the majority of the footage was me. She's still kind of quiet. I think she forgets we're down here recording. I'll look <laughs> over and she's already got one in. So, uh, but she's loving it. She loves, yeah, she loves to catch crabs. That didn't sound good. <laughs> I was always told in high school to avoid girls Love that catch crabs, them. but uh, <laughs> hey, I got one that loves to catch crabs. <laughs> so uh, we're going to head on back, clean them. We were dead set that we was going to boil these, kind of do a low country boil, but now we're starting to talk about possibly steaming them. So we've got the ride home to figure it out. I've got them on ice. That'll make them nice and lethargic and easy to clean. And uh, we'll meet y'all back at the house when we clean these and let you know how we're going to cook them. We are back at the shop and we have decided to do boiled crab. We kind of want to do old low country boiled crab. So my thought process is we're going to boil these crabs live, which is a very common way to do it. They die instantly as soon as they hit the water. But the reason I want to leave them in the shell and hole and then clean them once we go to eat them is because I'm kind of worried about that meat boiling out in a very violent rolling bowl. So if I was gonna steam them, which this has a nice steamer basket in it, I love this pot right here, I would go ahead and pop the shell and clean them. So I will show you all how to clean them, but it's gonna be after they're cooked, and you clean them the same exact way that I would have if I was gonna steam them or do a uh, low country bowl like we're gonna do now. We bought this to try. Normally you'll do, for the amount of crabs we have, about a half a cup of Old Bay. Uh, we'll put some other ingredients in there I'll show you in just a second. But we found this at the store. This is a Louisiana uh, crawfish, shrimp, and crab bowl. 
looks pretty good we're gonna give this a shot I think it was only a dollar something two dollars for this whole pack it's a bit much for what we're gonna do but we're gonna go ahead and pour it in because tiffany is screaming she wants some flavor so we're gonna give it to her i'm gonna go ahead and stir this in a little but once it gets to an old good rolling bowl it'll mix it all up really well All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready while that's out there coming to a bowl. We've got some venison sausage. I'm gonna cut that up in about, I don't know, two to three inch chunks. It's just two of us, so we don't need a whole lot here. Get all this in a bowl. This is, I don't know if you've ever heard of it unless you're from the South, Silver Queen Sweet Corn. Best corn made in my opinion. And it's frozen, so it's going to be fun cutting this in half. <laughs> She's laughing at me. She's laughing at me. Cut. Be back to y'all in a minute. All right, Tiffany's got a great idea. Instead of me cutting a finger off here, we'll just cut this in half after it boils. All right, now I'm gonna take about three lemons, cut them in half. And then we're gonna do a little bag of red potatoes as well. Also what goes great in there is cloves of garlic. We don't have any, so uh, we're gonna add a garlic another way. But uh, that's kind of your typical low country bowl right there. Now some people add shrimp, which sadly I am allergic to. I know I can eat crab, but no shrimp. Developed that allergy a few years ago. I'm still wrecked about it. Uh, sausage is common. Like I said, we're gonna add some sausage. Crawfish is, is also common as well. Well, we thought about getting some locally, but we don't need to make this any more uh, big of a meal than we already have for just two people. So, like I said, we're going to let that come to a boil. Then we'll go add these ingredients right there, let them cook for just a few minutes. We're going to get these crabs washed up, and then we'll put them in next. All right, we have came to a rolling boil. I'm going to see if I can dump all this in without burning the heck out of myself. Again, it's... I think three lemons, three and a half lemons, a few ears of sweet corn, a pound of sausage, and some red potatoes. So if I can do this without burning the heck out of myself. I'm burning myself all right. All right, this is where I love having this big old sink. So what I'm gonna do is rinse these guys off, get them nice and clean. Since we're gonna boil them, we're gonna boil them alive, but they die instantly. And I'm gonna put them in this big tall pot here so they can't climb out after they've been rinsed off. And we're gonna check each and every one of these to make sure that they are alive because you absolutely do not wanna cook dead crab. Crab rot and go rancid very quickly. So if you have any doubt, you need to throw your crab away. Now, once they're on ice like this, a lot of them will be lethargic. Some of them will, some of them won't. So you've got to kind of double check, look at their eyes, look at their little tentacles, see if there's any movement to them. And if there is, that's a good crab. We're gonna rinse it off, get it in the pot. We're gonna get in a bowl of water here in just a second. See, this is a very lively crab. I don't have to question if he's alive or not. I'm gonna get him rinsed off, just get some of that salt water and mud off of him. And then he's going right in the pot. I'll get the rest of these cleaned up and we'll go outside and bowl them up. All right, we wound up with a decent little mess. I didn't count them, but probably a dozen, maybe a little more. We had a couple of them that just would not move, uh, come out of their little lethargic state. So I've got to count those as dead. Like I said, I strongly recommend do not eat any crab that you question if it's possibly dead. These guys, they're all pretty lively now that they've warmed up. 
get off the ice. You can see as soon as you touch them, they start moving around, swatting at you. So let's go ahead and get them on in the water if it's back to a rolling bowl. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, that's hot. As you can see, these crabs are just as red as can be. Everything feels nice and tender. We went a little less than what the packet recommended. 15 minutes to boil seems crazy, especially being that now what we've done is we've already killed the heat. Tiffany loves the strong uh, seasoning and flavor. So we're gonna let these sit here about another 10 minutes, kind of soak some of that flavor up into them, that juice. The packet recommended up to 25 minutes. That's just crazy. You're gonna wind up with overcooked everything. So like I said, uh, probably we did about 12 to 13 minutes of boiling. It recommended 15 and it's recommended up to 25 soak time where we might do 10. We're gonna pull that basket out, drain everything off, chow down. All right, we've just pulled the basket out, let it drain. We're gonna dump it in the pan on the ground. We're doing this redneck style today, people. <laughs> one potato we're okay all right let's carry this inside and tear it up beef for two yes <laughs> okay guys as y'all can see we have got plenty of food to eat who wants for, to come over yeah probably two days here so we've made this uh tiffany made this like garlic butter cream sauce that we're going to pour over everything but uh, I did promise to show y'all how to clean one of these real quick. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, oh it smells so good. So let me show y'all what I do here. So you can do this whether they're steamed and cleaned or steam and, and cooked or say we brought them home and took them straight off the ice. What you'll do is you'll pop this flapper up. You get that out of the way. Then you can actually grab a hold of that shell and pop it completely off. It's actually easier to do it from the rear, but it is so hot. Just pop that shell right off the top. Now these right here, I don't know if you can see them. Those are called dead man's fingers. That's the actual lungs. And in the center, that's the guts. So we'll rake those out. Ooh, it's so hot. It's our scrap bucket right here. Now once you have those fingers cleaned out and that center section cleaned out, you can break it in half is what I like to do. Now you've got all this good meat in here. So you can break those back claws off. Look at that right there. That is good. Mmm, good, clean white meat right there. And then we'll take pecan crackers. I don't know if you've seen these, they're pretty old school. Take the claws and crack them right up toward the front. Bullet don't no. you eat that bullet. No. Nope. Sorry, I had to get on to our dog. <laughs> See the way that popped right off? Now you can take that claw, pull it right off of your teeth, and that's good to go. I could do that a little better, but I'm trying to rush for the camera. And again, my fingers are on fire. This stuff's hot. So we're gonna chow down. Hopefully that gives you a little basic idea of how we clean them. We're gonna go do this again, because we had a good time. Oh, it was so much fun. It, it was fun. It it's, always is. It's like an Easter egg hunt for better food than <laughs> eggs. So we're gonna go back and we'll probably steam them next time just to do it different. I'll show you how to live clean them, which is very similar to what I just showed you. Uh, just take that little bottom piece off, I don't even know what it's called, pop the shell off the top, clean the guts out, the lungs, and you're ready to go. Then you can steam them in a pot with some Old Bay on them, they're excellent like that, but we just kind of want to do the old low country bowl route today. So, got bugs trying to help us here. We're going to turn the fan on in just a second, y'all can't hear with it on. Thank y'all for watching, and uh, please join us for the next adventure.